Moving on to other global stories at this hour. A move towards greater liberty for women. Japan is all set to scrap its remarriage restrictions on pregnant women. The country's cabinet ministers have approved the repealing of a regressive law, which stated that if a woman is pregnant at the time of divorce, she has to wait for 100 days before marrying again. The 1896 law was first revised in the year 2016, reducing the time period to 100 days from earlier six months. Japanese people have been campaigning for the withdrawal of the outdated law. They have slammed it as a patriarchal and discriminatory in nature as it does not apply to the men in the country. The original intention of the legislation was to help in the identification of the father as to who will financially be responsible for the child. In another significant development, the change will also remove a rule that grants parents the right to discipline children to whatever extent that they can. The government will submit the revised civil code to the current parliamentary session that ends on December 10th. And if passed, the change is expected to be enacted in the year 2024. Despite being one of the most advanced in science and technology, Japan's track record in ensuring women empowerment is patchy. In the World Economic Forum's annual global gender GDP report, it consistently ranks low. The report takes political empowerment as well as health, education and economic participation into account. Even as recently as in 2022, the country was placed in the 106th out of the 146 ranks. Two years ago, Japan even delayed a target that it set almost two decades ago. The target was to ensure that at least 30% of leadership positions in business and politics are held by women. Its new five-year plan stated efforts would be made to meet the target by 2030 instead of the end of 2020.